to Freddy's coming for you! Ah! Hey, what's going on everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, back at it again. And guess what? <laughs> we have a special one for you today. It's Freddy! Freddy Krueger! Um, that's right. We have a Freddy Krueger review. And if you guys have been watching my channel, I've only reviewed one Freddy Krueger in my entire history of... My long history, my 30 years of being on the internet, my over 40 years of being on YouTube. If you believed any of that, then... Then... I gotcha. Freddy's gotcha. But, uh, yeah, if you didn't see uh, one of my uh, previous reviews of Freddy, this was, I don't know, this was like maybe seven, eight, nine months ago, I did the Movie Maniacs version of Freddy right here. Um, so I guess we're going to do a little um, comparison of this Freddy. Uh, this is, of course, Todd McFarlane. This is when... You know, uh, back in the day, I think he's from like 97, 98, um, when horror, um, horror figures were popular, well, actually weren't that popular back in the day like they are now, you know what I mean? Like nobody back in the day was collecting, um, unless you were a huge, huge collector of action figures, Nobody back in the day was collecting horror uh, action figures. And this is why one of the uh, reasons why this movie, the Movie Maniacs versions, Todd McFarlane's Movie movie Maniacs um, are very, very rare, is because uh, nobody was collecting them back in the day. You know what I mean? And they were rare back in the day. But today, we don't have uh, a McFarlane uh, figure. We actually have a NECA figure which has more articulation and <laughs> he looks uh, a little bit cooler we're gonna actually do like a little side-by-side uh, -side comparison guys of uh, of the NECA versus uh, Todd McFarlane uh, Freddy Krueger and this one is not uh, new but it's not old compared to the movie Maniacs version I'm trying to look for a date on here figure out when the hell this came out. I can't remember when this came out, but like I said, this hasn't been, uh, this is, this has been out for a while. So I always wanted to get a NECA version of Freddy Krueger because I always wanted the more articulated version of Freddy Krueger. And uh, I actually wanted to get the first Freddy Krueger, but you know what? Uh, Freddy is Freddy. So as long as I have a NECA Freddy Krueger, it's all good. And I got this guy for a really, really good price. Let me see. Let's take him off. So that's one of the main reasons why I picked him up. It's because I got him for a really, really good price. So let's worry. Let's worry about the tape another time. Okay, so let's get this figure out the box. And um, I can't remember how the hell I got this figure out the box. I think it was from... The top, I think the top was the only way to get this figure out the box. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so let's take out Freddy. This is from A Nightmare on Elm Street to Freddy's Revenge. So let's put that off to the side. I'll bring my camera, my light in a little bit more so you guys can see this figure in detail. So, he does have a quite a few twisty ties, guys. In times like these, I wish I had my toenail papers. So, let's cut that off. Let's cut that off. Actually, these are not too bad, so... Cut that off, and cut that off. Actually, there was only four of them, so... Yeah, they weren't that bad. And he comes with two hounds of hell. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember uh, Freddy uh, 
uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Okay, so here is Freddy. <laughs> I just love... I love that facial expression. And the details of his shirt are pretty, pretty nice, man. You think it looks like real fabric, but it's not. It's actually hard plastic. And I like what they did there. Did Freddy... I don't know. Did Freddy have the glove in uh, part part two? Because he's got... I don't know. Is this his glove? It looks more like his hand than his glove. A very nice Freddy Krueger. And I like an articulated Freddy Krueger. But the Movie Maniacs version is a classic. You know what I mean? And I love the blood-splattered version of the Movie Maniacs. And I added this Jason mask just for the hell of it. It didn't come with this figure. But the face sculpts uh, on it, the Movie Maniacs version, it's a little bit more pale. And this one right here, NECA, is a little bit more red. So which one's better? I don't know. I think I think the Movie Maniacs version is a little bit better. But this Freddy does come with alternate heads. So, and then here's his hat right here. <laughs> I love that, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so let's put Freddy right there. Let's break out his alternate heads. So he comes with one screaming head, which is quite scary. And then he comes with another like freak out head. It's not too shabby. And then he has this fire flame effect, which I don't really know where the hell this goes to. It's a magnet. Okay, so it's... Okay, yeah, you can magnet to his back. Ah, oh, I, I didn't even notice that. So yeah, it's a magnet that goes onto his back. Where it acts like Freddy is on fire. Barely stays on there. That's kind of what I have, have, have assumed because it kind of like has the arch in his back right there. And you can hang it on his back right there where Freddy is on fire. But if you tip it backwards, the fire, the flame is going to fall off. So, And this Movie Maniacs version too has a hard time standing up. You got to get them at a weird, you got to stand them at a weird angle. Okay, so let's break out the Hounds of Hell. And then we'll do some head swappage. And then we'll do a comparison. And then we'll do articulation. <laughs> these, oh my god, man. These things are hideous, dude. Wow, wow, wow. He's got like brain guts and stuff from his head. These hounds, uh, the head is articulated on it, so <laughs> these are a thing of nightmares, man. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Jeez. They're, I'm guessing they're Rottweiler bodies with human heads on it. I can't remember the movie, guys. If you guys remember the movie, let me know how this scene goes. It's been a while since I've seen, uh, a Nightmare on Elm Street 2. And look at this guy. He's even worse. Oh my god. Look at that face. All the pus on his face. And oh, this is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. My last review of The Freak. Uh, Spawn. Uh, I thought was pretty horrible. But man, these things are freaking. These things are like the things of nightmares, man. <laughs> Alright, let me put... Let me put that off to the side. Let me put these off to the side. <laughs> Dude. Oh, 
So let me break off Freddy's head, even though I think this is Freddy's uh, best head sculpt right here. Let's check out his articulation as far as head movement goes. He can look down that much. Head rotation. I like the head rotation of this Freddy. His head pretty much looks up that far. Uh, he has no break. He does have a waist swivel. Um, his arms can extend up that much. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? I'm Freddy. I'm Freddy. What do you want from me? Uh, knee bend that much. Articulation. Eh. It is what it is. His legs can extend out that much in a sitting pose. A uh, very nice overall, guys. Very, very nice figure. Actually, let me rephrase this because this shirt is not actually a plastic. It's kind of a, like a hard rubber rised. Uh, but his arms are plastic. It's just a shirt that's kind of like a bendable hard rubber. So let's change out his head. Man, that's a weird... Yeah, look at his head sculpt. His uh, pen, he doesn't have a pen. You just kind of pop him on there. Let's pop on this head. And you have to be careful, too, with a lot of these figures. <laughs> it's very hard to get his head on there. <laughs> Let's try the other one. Let's try this head. Because it's not like a regular ball joint. So... Huh. Let me see. We'll put Freddy right here with the Hounds of Hell. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little difficult trying to get these head sculpts on. I'm going to drop the head. Let's see if I can get the other head on. So I just kind of pop in there. So there's that one I just put on because I wanted to make sure if I can still put that one on. Ugh. Let me try to get the other head because I dropped the other head. So let's pop that one off again. Let's pop this one on. I wanted to make sure I didn't mess up. <laughs> so there's the other head. Freddy head. <laughs> Uh, which I don't know, I actually kind of like that one. <laughs> and it comes with the screaming. Yeah, actually, you know what, I kind of like this one. This one actually looks pretty good. <laughs> the crazy, psychotic uh, Freddy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so let's pop on the screaming head Freddy. Oh, and these are not the easiest things to put on. So there's the screaming head, Freddy. Which I don't really care too much for because I've noticed there's like a s difference in his skin tone. And look, there's a piece of his brain right there on this one. Yeah, I kind of like this one of all the Freddies. This head sculpt is probably the best. Let me pop this off. Let me put the the Freddy in pain one on. Yeah, this one's the best, I think, in my opinion. <laughs> it's the most realistic. <laughs> put the head on him. Yeah, there he goes. So... I showed you the articulation, guys. Let me break out the tape measure. Let me measure him for you, and then we'll do a comparison with the Movie Maniacs version. So he stands at 
seven and a half, just under seven and a half inches, guys. So he's a pretty, pretty tall uh, Freddy. So let's do some comparisons, guys. So this is the Movie Maniacs version. This is the classic Movie Maniacs version. Now, I can't remember from Elm Street Part 2 if he had the glove or if his uh, knife came out of his fingers. I can't remember. If you guys remember, let me know. As far as the detail goes, I mean, I do like the coloring of uh, NECA's Freddy a little bit better. McFarlane's, the detail on him is a little bit better, too. You take off his head, his hat, and you see the detail on his head. You see the bloodiness in Freddy's head as far as NECA. And um, I do like this color of red right here on this Freddy, but I do like the dark version. I like the bloodiness for the McFarlane version. The claws, I like the claw better on this one. Articulation wins for NECA because this is an older figure and this is a McFarlane figure. And if you guys know anything about McFarlane back in the day, he wasn't big on articulation. Um, I do like the black pants a little bit better and I do like the blood a little bit better. The boots overall, I th I'm going to give it to NECA. The boots overall is pretty nice. I do like the gray pants. I do remember Freddy wearing the gray pants in, in Nightmare on Elm Street 2. There's the back of them. Listen, they're both they're both nice figures in their own way, but I think I think I don't know, man. I think this head sculpt wins a little bit more because there's a little bit more detail on it. It's more blood. The articulation goes to NECA, uh, but the overall look for Freddy I think goes to Movie Maniacs. They're both nice figures, man. Really, really like them a lot. Okay, I can't remember when I rated this Freddy, but I'm going to rate uh, this Freddy. Um, on a scale from 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, listen, guys, he's a really, really nice Freddy Krueger. I'm going to give him a solid, a solid 9. I think he's that awesome. And if you guys know about Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, and if you know about this right here, his glove, did he have the fingers, the knives coming out of his fingers? Because I can't remember. I do remember with the Nightmare on Elm Street, they went with a lighter version of him. So the clothes that he was wearing in Nightmare on Elm Street, they were a little bit darker. And then when Nightmare on Elm Street 2 came out, his clothes were a little bit lighter. So, oh yeah, there's the picture on the box right there of the hound. So this was on the school bus, right? Nice figure overall, guys. And also, they it came with more accessories as well. I do love this flame effect uh, that they gave Freddy. <laughs> I love his facial expression. <laughs> okay guys we're about to hit the 19 minute mark if you guys are still with me i just want to say thanks if you guys sat with me through this entire review i just want to say thanks you know we might have to do another uh video of this freddy because he's pretty pretty awesome guys so tell me what you guys think of this uh of this figure do you like him do you like this freddy which one do you like better the movie maniacs or NECA version this is from part one this is from part two and those hounds right there, oh my god, those things are going to give me nightmares, man. So, there you guys have it. There was my little review of Freddy uh, from Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge from NECA Toys. And if you want, you could take on, put on this Freddy's hat if you want to. For the Movie Maniacs version. If you wanted to and put on this hat for this one. Either way, they still look awesome with the black or the the uh, brown hat. So, tell me what you guys think. Which one which one wins, guys? I don't know which one wins. I think they're both evenly matched. Detail, articulation, uh, but both of them are very, very nicely done. So, there you guys have it. Just want to thank you guys for watching, and guess what? I'll catch you guys later!